With inexpensive costs associated with a start in the plumbing sector, it's here that inexperienced tradesmen have been flocking. But what do we really know about the future of the plumbing industry, and is it actually looking as bright as everyone seems to think? Well, whether you're one of those searching the job market or just want to know everything you can about the future of the industry, stay right where you are, as we're about to explore what the future of plumbing actually looks like. So strap yourselves in and get ready for an informative ride, as things are about to to get interesting. But before we get into it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe with notifications turned on so you don't miss out on any of the new videos we post. An introduction to the career. When thinking about what a plumber actually does, the vast majority of you will probably think about the residential plumber who is often called over to your home when your piping starts to act up. And while this is absolutely true, there are a number of different types of plumbers in the world, each with their own specializations and job requirements. In essence, plumbing as a career involves the performance of a number of jobs and activities that involve the piping beneath your home or business. And since all properties need piping to both bring in clean water and send out human waste, plumbing is a pretty important job. Just look at what happens when the water at home has been shut off for a few hours, and you'll know precisely what we mean. Without running water, you can't make coffee, cook, shower, or even flush your toilet. In terms of the fight against the spread of illness, you'll also no longer be able to wash your hands, which is by far one of the most effective shields against illness. But as we mentioned earlier, it becomes difficult to define precisely what a plumber does due to the fact that there are so many different specialties that one can commit to. We've already spoken a bit about residential plumbers, for example, who are often called to a home in an effort to fix problems that may very well be considered to be emergencies. Everything from the installation of a new toilet to the fixing of a leaking or bursting pipe. The second category of plumber is commercial plumbers, who instead find themselves working within the commercial sector on jobs that require a broader understanding of city codes and complex piping systems. Plumbers such as these may be called in to plan and install the entirety of a piping system, for example. And then lastly, you have the repair and maintenance types, who are usually called every so often to evaluate the pipes of a home and attend to some fixes that are not beyond their bounds. Think of these plumbers as the maintenance officers that check your car during its annual service to ensure that everything is going well. These plumbers make sure that they fix your pipes before you're faced with a massive and unavoidable burst in the future. As to why tradesmen have been flocking to this profession for a few years now, there are actually quite a few reasons. One of them being that income that can be earned from getting dirty. In fact, according to the FY18 Tradie Rich List, as published by Service Seeking in Australia, plumbers are considered to be paid marginally above electricians when considering what they are able to charge for services rendered. But is this going to continue for the years to come? Or is this surge in the industry considered to be nothing more than a temporary effect of the global health situation? Well, let's take a look at some of the reasons why we believe the plumbing industry has a bright future ahead of it. Number one, the demand for plumbers. One of the reasons why plumbing as an industry has always been considered to be a lucrative and long-lasting one is the fact that there will always be a demand for plumbers, regardless of what happens in the future. Despite the tragedies that we face as a population, we can't go back to the days when piping was not required to live a healthy life. It is far too convenient for us to turn our taps on and watch as water pours out. And not having to remove our own waste is something that as a population we have grown quite fond of. As the population of both Australia and the rest of the world begins to grow, so does the demand for all types of plumbers. And since since plumbers don't just deal with the flow of water, but that of human waste as well, it's a job market that is almost never able to meet the demand that the broader population has for it. Let's be honest, both skilled and unskilled tradespeople prefer the cleanliness and comfort that comes from working in the field of electricity, a field not paid much less than plumbers in the broader region of Australia. Risking a shock or two is considered to be a lot more preferable than risking an afternoon knee-deep in raw sewage after all. This can clearly be seen by reports which indicate that regardless of a high earning potential of the plumbing sector, there still remains a significant gap in the market when it comes to Australia, with this being especially true in populated regions such as Sydney and Perth. It's actually due to this gap in the market that skilled tradespeople from mostly South Africa and France have found themselves emigrating to 
joined the Golden Coast in an effort to fill the gap. And since the global health situation has brought international travel to an abrupt halt, it looks as if the gap is only growing larger. Some experts have even stated that this gap will remain open for at least another 15 years, with other mentioning that this gap will never be filled due to the rate at which our population is growing. So regardless of what you may think of the plumbers of the world, there's no doubt that they are set in one of the most lucrative industries right now. Number two, the potential of the job. Another reason why plumbers are always said to have a bright future in the world has to do with the fact that they end up learning real skills that can be used in a multitude of scenarios. Once you are a qualified plumber, you are allowed to both fix your own pipes as well as those of your friends and family. And this is why the majority of plumbers end up working for a little bit extra on the side when it comes to the hours they spend away from work. If the global health situation has taught us anything, it's that a side hustle is always a great thing to have, as you never know what might happen in the days ahead. It is also through the working of jobs outside of regular working hours that a great many plumbers learn just how easy it would be to start their own plumbing businesses. As a result, plumbers often work for a company for just a few years while gaining the experience needed to go out on their own. They say that there is nothing better than being your own boss after all. And since plumbing businesses tend to succeed a lot easier than other new businesses, this looks to be the way to go. Another great aspect about the skills learnt by professional plumbers is that they are often transferable when it comes to other job prospects. Commercial plumbers, for example, spend a lot of time learning about the various building codes and regulations applicable to their city. They also find themselves working for building managers and contractors rather than property owners in the residential field. This means that commercial plumbers often find themselves retiring from the physical work they've grown used to and taking on organizational jobs, such as that of a building contractor or manager. In fact, this is why the vast majority of contractors have the piping or electrical systems of a property as the basis of their knowledge. A career in the plumbing industry has the ability to bleed over into a few other industries, with there being quite a few possibilities to earn a lot by merely managing a group of plumbers in your future. Number three, the job will always be necessary. But by far, one of the greatest reasons for the bright future that the plumbing industry has can be seen in the absolute necessity of the job. As we mentioned earlier, piping is necessary when it comes to the enjoyment of everyday life, with plumbing catastrophes having the effect of stopping a household or business in its tracks. Take away the ability of workers to make coffee and take bathroom breaks. Then you'll see just how necessary pipes and running water is at the end of the day. And if anyone needed an experiment to prove just how necessary the industry is, what better to use than the global health situation, which caused the entirety of the world to lock down at various intervals. Of all the professions that were considered to be necessary, the plumbing sector was of course one of them. Heralded alongside doctors and nurses as the heroes of the global health situation, you can't be quarantined in your home when it's flooding due to a burst pipe after all. So, it looks like regardless of what is actually happening in the world, plumbers will always have the ability to work due to the actual nature of their jobs. In fact, according to a variety of reports, callouts to plumbers actually increased during the global health situation, with more people being stuck in their homes and taking the opportunity to fix problems that had otherwise gone ignored. So, despite the state of the world, the plumbing profession is strong. Number four, the human element of the job. Lastly, we find that we have to mention that plumbing as a profession is very much a social one that requires a face to both explain and fix a problem in the piping system of a property owner. The reason why this is so important is due to the fact that machines have come to replace workers in quite a few industries over the years, but it looks as if plumbing will not be one of them. In fact, the technological innovations within the industry have mostly been aimed toward the assistance of plumbers rather than their replacement, making it one of the safest industries to dive into if you have fears of being replaced by a robot somewhere down the line. If you're already a plumber running your own business or just about to start and grow your own plumbing business, you must learn the four critical things plumbing business owners wish they had learned before starting an electrical business. So you don't make the same mistakes. Plumbing Accelerator have put together a free training video you can watch for free right now that will show you exactly how to start, grow, and build your plumbing business the right way so you can consistently guarantee profitable work, free up your time, all whilst reducing stress levels and allowing you to have sustainable and more profitable business that works for you. In this free training video, you will also
also learn how to generate a steady stream of jobs on demand and with predictability month after month in your local area without relying on word of mouth and referrals. How to stop competing on price with other electricians and escape your competition. How to convert at least 90% of your quotes and estimates into sales. How to command premium prices and attract high quality customers that will be happy to pay more. Click on the link in the description below the video. But what do you think about the future of plumbing? Feel free to let us know in the comments down below.